Hi folks, thanks for tuning in again. So today is another very busy day. It is, uh, what is around 9 a.m. and a lot of activity going on. We have the air conditioner folks over here assessing the situation to make sure that we can fit the air conditioners that we chose. Because here in Japan, you got the little, uh, the little units that go into each section. There's no um, uh, central air. And so yeah, uh, and then the uh, kitchen folks just arrived. What I'm going to do is put several cameras on time lapse and record here and there. But on the other hand, I'm also going to try to uh, stay out of their way and be respectful, and uh, just try to record as much as I can. We also have one of the carpenters working in the casita in the guest house, and he's alone today. Uh, and then we also have the tile slash um, concrete guy here doing some work as well. And the, uh, the, the plumber, he actually, he just said he wants to stop by and <laughs> kind of look at the kitchen being installed. So, uh, so yeah, so let me go ahead and uh, get ready for this. Okay, so this looks like it's the, uh, the top to the, um, the island. It's a, uh, uh, thick, I think it's five five millimeter uh, stainless steel uh, material, and it was brushed. And I look at these guys over there carrying in. So that was the debate that we we're having uh, with the, the this uh, kitchen maker was that they wanted to use their material, which is kind of like um, pressed wood, and we wanted to use the the real wood that we have been using throughout the house. So they came to an agreement that uh, uh, they would use uh, Kayak-san's uh, company's wood. So again, I'm gonna try to stay out of the way as much as possible, but kind of try to record. I hope I can stay out of the way. And Joko over there is uh, talking to the uh, air conditioner guy. Uh, there was a little, uh, we had to change the size of the air conditioner because the, the room that's up there, there's not much room. So uh, uh, we have to recalculate that. So hopefully uh, it's uh, big enough for this entire area. Well, just by looking at it right now on the wrapping, it looks really nice, nice and big. We shall see when it's done. <laughs> they come prepared. This is rainy today, and it's rainy season in July, so uh, yeah, they uh, kind of just hooked up to prevent it from getting wet. And actually, Choco was talking. I was like, "It's gonna get wet. My kitchen is gonna get wet." It's like, "Don't worry about it. They have it away. Don't worry about it." See. <laughs> yeah, that thing is quite heavy. It's a four-person lift. Oh, here comes the uh, the sink. That, that thing is uh, heavy as well. They can that that um. So this company, they're in uh, Hiroshima, and we went over there and visited the factory, and they deliver all over the place, uh, but they custom make them right there, um, to size, obviously, and um, however you want them. Uh, so we we chose this one, because this is actually what Chobu wanted for the, the top. It's kind of like a brush, uh, brush uh, finish. You'll see it once it's done. And, um, yeah, so one of my criteria, or actually both of us, is that we like a big sink uh, so that it's easy to, to wash. So obviously this is upside down right now, but uh, so that's what, uh, it's a pretty big sink right there. All right, so they're bringing in the bottom part now. 
Wow, look at that, really nice. Oh, wow. I like that, the look of the wood. Yeah, definitely liking that because again, when we went to the their uh, shop, the factory, they had the, the pressed wood material and none of that really looked good. Uh, but this, uh, obviously, like I said, it matches as the same type of uh, wood provided by uh, the company that Kayakistan uses. Okay, so for those that are interested, um, this is the uh, company Matsuoka. Um, like I said, they have stainless and order furniture. They are located there in uh, Hiroshima. Uh, and then again, I think the, when I was talking to them, they, they uh, uh, ship throughout Japan and uh, you can have them custom made. Just gonna give them the dimensions and everything and they make it for you. For those of you from the United States watching, so these are like the coolest things ever. They're little glasses they're using with the integrated uh, fans. Uh, it keeps them nice and cool. And so a lot of the construction folks that uh, are used to working outside, they wear them and I think it's uh, an excellent idea. <laughs> and for those of you that are wondering what I'm saying, that means that's actually there. One, two, three. So that's, uh, that's the way you say it in Japanese. Look up that I just uh, realized and we, it didn't dawn us uh, either is that so we did request to have outlets on the ends of the uh, island so that you know when you're cooking you can just plug uh, plug it in right there on the side but then uh, they just realized and obviously just on us right now too is that the uh, electrical wiring is not coming through the floor so that's something that has to be corrected later on now so now the uh, cable people just arrived the big truck going through the back over there uh, so that's another activity going on today. Uh, oh, there's another truck coming up. The one good thing is we have lots of parking. Uh, <laughs> uh, that sometimes we have like 10 vehicles of, uh, over here. Okay, so uh, <laughs> Choker just got a call from Kayakistan and says yeah, that the wire is underneath, that they just didn't know exactly where the island and everything was gonna go. So later they're gonna drill a hole and the electrician is gonna come and uh, wire it. Okay, so that's good because I thought we covered all those bases. Yeah, so one of the frustrating parts, I guess, about that doing an IKEA renovation or just any kind of renovation or building a house in Japan. So, you know, my Japanese is not as fluent as it should be. And so Choke was uh, tasked with doing all the type of uh, work that uh, normally I take care of, uh, you know, back in the States. Uh, so we, I have to rely on her a lot. So uh, if you are going to take on a task like this, uh, if your Japanese is not as fluent, uh, just uh, get a uh, translator or, you know, try your best. You know, Japanese people are very cordial and they'll, you know, they'll work on it and try to uh, figure it out together. But it's just better to have a uh, native speaker.
These poor guys. <laughs> yeah, the cable guy was just complimenting the the beams and everything. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty good. So yeah, I'm complimenting my own. But yeah, we're quite proud of it. I chose uh, a large refrigerator that's available at the uh, Yamada Denk is where we got it at. Kayak-san just came in to check on things. Yeah. I see he has been great working with him. Uh, he's uh, obviously, you know, he still does carpentry and he has been working on, but you know, he has a company and business to run. So for the most part, he's just uh, running projects and everything. But uh, he, uh, like when they installed these big beams, he was up there uh, doing all the main work himself because uh, that's a skilled craft right there. So. So that looks like the uh, floor unit for the uh, oven. Yeah. There you go. And right now they take measurements to make sure it's uh, centered. Uh, so we wanted the island as big as possible, but also we wanted enough room that we could walk through there. Um, pretty much all, all the way around the island. They said, Daik-san, they're calling for the carpenter. And Kek says, that's me over here. <laughs> Then I was just noticing uh, so all their shoes and how they, they just kind of use end up using them as slippers because they always have to take them on and off. And I'm always on choco about um, putting them on properly because then it messes up your feet. And when they walk in the house, they just uh, they have their work uh, slippers at every site that they go to. <laughs> So right now he's working on the wiring for both ends of the island uh, to have the outlets on both ends. ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、
曲。で、月曜日に、マキスト。はい。はい。で、エアコンが5日です。五日です。今、電気屋根も言ってますんで。あ、はい。今、おろしの友達さんつないでもらって、あ、こう二百に変えて。はい、もう。ワークを変えて、ここをつ、つなぎ変えればいいと思います。あ、はい、uh, can we ask him to remove the the, the bamboo thing over there?、Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I keep forgetting. I mean, I could just grab a ladder and do it myself, but. So I, I discussed it earlier the reason why they always have a little hole right there, and they, we have one in the laundry room as well, is for that, that,、uh, that's that reason right there. So it's like an access point to the electrical and the plumbing. We just remove that tub right there. And then it serves as storage. You could just put stuff in there. So, double purpose. Is he happy to be done with us? いいお客さん、頑張りがとうございます。<笑> says we're good customers、はい。はいはい。よくできましたね。綺麗。<笑>
970ゴミルどうしてもゴミルこの人あ,あ,あ,あのタイプでゴミで初めて見ました、ね、<笑>あ本当、はい、うちの娘とかこのオープンのアイランドでゴミですけど、うん、これねこれもゴミこれもゴミですか水取り<笑><笑>まあこれ一生持ちますんで半減中的に、うん<笑>いや。Yeah, so this unit too, it has, an,、uh, it has shelves on both ends. So you have the shelves coming out from this side and then on the opposite side. And then you see how the outlets on both ends. And、uh, again, they, so that you can maximize storage as well. Really nice wood, nice material. And these should be the smooth open and close type as well. Yeah, so they're pulling out the big guns here with the laser. Make sure it's nice and level. Yeah, so one other thing they did, they changed the front、uh, cover of the w i s h f o r c e s wood to match the wood. So, the cable guys are leaving, and they just installed the router and everything, and we should have internet connectivity here in a few hours to include the, to include the cable TV. Poor guys, this thing is heavy. That sucker is heavy. So,、uh, I guess the point of this too is、uh, that it will last a long, long time for the life of the house. If the house ever burns down, that poor guy. <laughs> If the house burns down, that'd be like the only thing left right there, that and the kitchen countertop. Alright, so the crew is taking a quick、uh, lunch break. So let me go ahead and take some video of、uh, the progress so far. It's right at 12. They showed up around 9 a.m. because they came from Hiroshima. And、uh, yeah, so they should be done here in a few hours. And、uh, so this one we picked it because it's nice and slim. And we, we picked black because the sink is going to be black and also the.、Uh, Obviously, the fireplace is going to be black, so we wanted that to kind of match. And、uh, plenty of room to walk through here. And then also, this is,、uh, if I remember correctly, a meter, meter wide. So that's as far as my hand goes, just stretching out. So there's plenty of room. So if、uh, there's multiple people here cooking,、um, One person can be on this end, another person can be on that other end, chopping and stuff like that. So, that was the purpose of that. 
Uh, right here is not perfectly even with the other side. But see right here we can add another piece right here along the wall. Outlet. So and the outlet on both ends. So it looks like they uh, finished uh, connecting the exhaust and then he's uh, connecting the other electronics there for the dishwasher. And then there's the hood. <laughs> In just a minute, a cute couple, older couple showed up, the cleaning couple, uh, older gentleman and uh, and his wife, really cute, really nice. And then he, they were asking me, uh, what is the outside? And I said, well, it's a little house. And then they were kind of a little surprised. And uh, I told them, yeah, for when the uh, family and the uh, uh, daughter and son and uh, granddaughters come and visit, they have a place to stay. And then he also said, oh, so when you get in a fight with your wife too, you could go over there. <laughs> I said exactly. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> I said, you know. So that happens across different cultures. <laughs> so I was just sitting here uh, trying to preserve uh, battery and I was watching the older gentleman over there working on the shelves. He was meticulously uh, looking at the alignment of the uh, grain of the wood and uh, the shelves. He just kept looking and looking and looking, and uh, so he's over there uh, adjusting it again, yet uh, impressed of their quality of work. Um, I think he's like the carpenter guy, um, but yeah, he's been doing mainly the woodwork type of stuff. But yeah, there he is over there, like looking, looking, and <laughs> it's like he's literally adjusting millimeters, but yeah, very, very impressed. All right, so they're finishing up and they're taking off the material. Really nice. Wow. Yeah, so this is what Chopo was wanting the uh, brush look so that when it scratches and whatnot, it won't show. Because if it's a uh, shiny stainless steel, uh, once the scratches, uh, you could always see it. So <laughs> that's what uh, she was uh, um, hoping for. Yeah, so they, it's about 5 p.m. and pretty much took them between 9 to 5 to install this unit. All right, so the guys are done. Here's the kitchen, complete. Uh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Really happy with the results. So as discussed before, uh, this company, they don't use this type of material. They uh, primarily like press wood and stuff like that. So there was a little um, going back and forth between Kayak-san and uh, the company that built this uh, kitchen unit. And they came to agreement to go ahead and use uh, Kakistan's material. And then this is the final result. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, uh, check things out. So again, so here's the island. It's quite wide, about a meter. The main purpose for that is so that one person can be on this side and the other person can be on the other side. Um, outlets on each end so that uh, if you have something here, you can go ahead and plug it in on each side. Each of these drawers, really nice. They close smoothly. Look at that. These bottom ones are deeper. 
and you have the same thing on both sides, exact, exact uh, layout, again outlets, and uh, so the sink area, my, my main criteria every time we went to a store is always check the depth. I wanted something nice and deep and large so that you can easily wash dishes, uh, wash uh, large items in there. Let's see, back. Uh, we specifically asked for uh, a dark uh, black uh, metal and that matches the vent, which will match the, um, the, the stove as well. So, and uh, this, yeah, I'm gonna have to ask Choco about this. Is this one of those motionless uh, sensor ones? I'm not quite sure. Uh, because there was a, a last minute change because uh, the one that we chose, apparently they were having a lot of bad reviews, so they recommended that we go with a different type, and then she chose that one. So I'm not quite sure if this is uh, the, uh, the sensor type. And a really cool little integrated place to put your soap and everything. Right now at our rental place, it does not have something like this, it's right here. And it really drives me nuts because then the soap gets here all the time. I like this right here because you could just put your soap in here and then it just kind of stays there nice and clean. The one bad thing about Japan, I don't know why, but they have not figured out the concept of um, the garbage disposal. So you just kind of have there and it accumulates and you have to throw it away. I don't know why Japan has not figured that out or if it has something to do with the sewage. If someone knows, just let us know. Uh, dishwashers are very, very small in Japan and I could care less because I can't stand dishwashers. Uh, I just hear them running for two, three hours and I, all I hear is the waste going on. So I actually, actually I enjoy washing dishes, believe it or not. So, but they're small. Uh, our current one, we just use it to dry dishes. So this probably might serve the same purpose. And another reason why I hate washing dishes in the dishwasher is because I never put them in correctly to Choco standards. <laughs> there is a certain way they gotta go in and I can care less. And the uh, stove, three burners, small one in the back. And then you got the little uh, fish. In Japan, you got this little fish grill thing. And the older ones is just only for fish, but you could do all kinds of other stuff with this one right here, I believe, like toast and stuff like that. But yeah, that's what uh, these, these little units are for. There are no ovens in Japan. That's why uh, here on the left is where we're having the, um, um, the uh, a separate little oven uh, put right here in the little pantry that we've talked about before. Uh, looks like the controls to turn on and off. Let's go ahead and explore these other drawers here. All right, last one here for your um, utensils and stuff. Watch that close, yeah, I love that. Let's see, what else we have here? Yeah, for more stuff in here. And same. For your condiments. Oh, the smell of this is, you could just smell it right here. Oh my God. And the entire house too, because uh, now that it's uh, all the smell from the plaster, the fresh plaster is kind of dissipating. Um, you could just smell the cedar. All right, folks. Well, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is probably a little bit long video, but I want to capture the entire event with uh, different live time lapses and a little live video at the time. Uh, but this is the uh, kitchen unit of our IKEA in rural Japan. Uh, as you can suspect, we're coming close to the end of this renovation. However, I will continue posting videos of travels around Japan and rural living. So uh, please don't leave us. 
It's been fun. I have really enjoyed interacting with uh, folks uh, literally around the world and build different cool relationships with other other folks. So I would like to keep that going. Uh, again, if you like what you see, please hit subscribe, a thumbs up, and everything else. All right, folks, have a great day.